Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on the stage again. And this time I bring to you the power of delegation. And I wonder sometimes, when was the last time that when somebody asked you, how are you doing? When was the last time that you respond to something that doesn't include, well, I'm great, super busy, but I'm great. I have a lot, lots of things to do. So it happens very, very often. Sometimes I even wish I had the power to change the time, to create more hours during your day, but just realize that it might not solve the problem. I would have only more tasks to do, more things to handle. So what can help us then? We can delegate. Yeah, yeah, I know what some of you might be thinking. If I'm delegating, I'm not executing. I'm not seeing the value on the work that I'm doing. That I'm doing. But think about it. Delegation is not just offloading tasks. You change from executing to enabler. You are orchestrating the success of the team. You are recognizing the skills of your team to be able to help and free your time to do other stuff as well, to, to strategize, to think on the, on the future plan uh, of your tasks, of your day. And how you can start delegating? You can start with small things, small changes, uh, experimenting, just as other DevOps practices, you experiment, you have the continuous improvement, and you start doing questions like, uh, what are the tasks that I don't really need to do myself? What are the tasks or what are the skills that my team has that are being underutilized? What are the tasks that I can use these skills? How can I do this connection? And then you start, you start identifying what are the people that can help you with this kind of tasks? So once you connect the skills, the tasks, and the people, it's time to start to delegate. So here are a few tips that you can use uh, in this process. First, clarity. Be clear on the obje objectives, the goals, the expectations. Pay attention to the challenges and what are the expected time frame for the tasks. Be very clear and very specific on that. Listen to the person. Listen to how they intend to, how they plan to execute the task. What are the challenges and the difficulties that they see? Sometimes they will come, come with some points that we didn't realize in the beginning. Have an open discussion and share as well how you would do the task, how you're going to provide the, the guidance. But be very careful to do not push your way to do the things to the other person. That's an opportunity to understand that different people have different ways to achieve the same goals, to solve the same, the same problem. Having the test defined it and the people assigned to that, let's schedule a follow-up. Have some uh, follow-up agenda, very short, very brief, not so long. Uh, check the milestones, check the plan, how everything is working. Use that for follow-up. Use that for guidance and to help the person to achieve the outcome. Be careful with the pitfall of micromanagement. If you're going deep in the, into details, if you're checking every single detail of the test that the person is ex executing, that's a red flag that you're micromanaging. And that's going to be worse than you executing and lo losing time to execute that. My final point here is the trust. I think that trust is the foundation for a good delegation and good outcomes on that. When you put trust in the person that is exec executing the task in your team, this person feels that you have the confidence that the work is gonna be done. This person knows that they can reach you for help if they are having any issue or any difficulty executing the, executing the task. The trust also fosters the stronger relationships within the team, the culture of sharing the knowledge, sharing responsibilities. So now that we have the task, we have the goals, we have the follow-up, let's go and do it. Just give the, give the permission, give the freedom for the person to execute and step back. Well, in the beginning I said we don't have the power to change the time. But the real power is not changing the time. The real power is exceeding 
and give the power to your team to help you to succeed. Thank you.